G'day all, now Robert's here. I'm going to show you what it looks like to get a pull request. <clears throat> so at the end of doing the workshop, or if you're contributing to any open source project, probably the last step is to put in a pull request to the maintainer to have your changes uh, included. And so if I'm being the maintainer, which I'm kind of in this case, I suppose, this is my main interface to get changes from other people, to get input, cont contributions from other people. It would be great if I could just open up the repository, provide access to everybody and let them go and do what they wanted, but <clears throat> that becomes unworkable. And in particular, I guess programmers have learned over the years that at this stage of when one programmer has finished all their work and thinks it's great, passing it off to another programmer for review is a good idea. And that's really what a pull request is. It's a review that a, a, a second set of eyes makes before they bring that working code into what's called master, the main um, the main line of the repository, uh, so that everybody else can use it as well. It also gives that maintainer a chance to uh, deal with any clashes of multiple people working on multiple things. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I've got the mini console code here on the left in this lovely shade of blue that I'm experimenting with at the moment. Uh, now the file in question, I think, well, I can have a look. And then the pull request on Bitbucket just appears like this really nice interface. This is something that GitHub and Bitbucket have brought along that didn't exist really without them. It's not, is it built? No, it's not built into the, um, what? I can now request changes, very nice. Um, so Bitbucket's obviously introduced some new features. So this is what happens when you're pushing and pulling changes between forks instead of pushing and pulling changes between branches or, or um, working copies. So what it shows me is all of the changes that were made. I can see who made it, and I can see their commit comments that they put in. I can see each of the three commits that came in, one, two, three, they all kind of get bundled up together for me to look at. And then I've been added as a reviewer, so you can see I'm here as being able to review it. Uh, look at this, there's lots of little, I can put comments directly on a line if I want to send the pull request back to the developer. Uh, send that back and say, no, 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 please do it this way, and then they can send me another pull request. Here's an example of what I see. It's just the thing that changed. It's really useful. All they did was change the background from 0 to 245, 166 to 223. Interesting. Uh, here I can see they've also changed some of the flame colors from these three. The red ones are gone and the green ones are in. And we've got two different colors for whether the warp drive's on. And they pick some different colors. Now I can't see here what those new colors look like. Uh, but in my mind, I can, in my mind's eye, I can see them and I'm happy. So that's obviously a change from white to yellow. Yes, that's good. So those are the, the three changes kind of bundled together. And I can see all the changes that come from the, the pull request. And I can decide whether they're good or not. Now, normally what I will do in a, in a, in a real project <laughs> is I'll get myself a copy of this version and run it on my own computer. And in fact, in bigger projects, this would be set up to automatically run against the continuous integration tests. And I would have had up the top here a ticker across to tell me whether it passed the tests or not. But we're not quite at that level of sophistication with this. Uh, but I can look at them and decide, yep, I like those, and I approve them. Okay, now that was just me being a reviewer, approving the requests. There's a separate step to get the pull requests brought over. So let's see if I can remind myself of exactly where that is. There's an accept button, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Merge. Okay, so <clears throat> it's a, it includes some automatic comments for me before it goes into master. You can merge that across. And it was kind of my job to make sure that merge wouldn't have gone wrong, although we can set up, again, continuous integration things to test that the merge couldn't have gone wrong. So hopefully if I go back to commits now, I will see there we go. We can see that the new commits from Sophie have come in. Uh, it looks like there was one that I made in between when she made hers that needed merging, but it's all merged back up here to the point. Uh, so she put in one, two, three, uh, one, sorry, one, two, one, two, three, that merged one, and then the last merge was the, the pull request coming in. So even though I clicked the button, she's the author because they all have all of her code. 
And over here, I should now be able to pull this. So let's just get up the right file. Um, Rocket.java and go to a section where we're going to see those colors. Um, there's the background. So that'll be up in the start of the draw. There we go. Background is zero. Uh, so if I jump over to the Git part of Visual Studio, because I'm doing this on my desktop and pull, but the same thing happens if you're doing it on terminal. Bam! You can see it's updated straight away. So yeah, that pull request went through. I can merge it and run it on my own computer now. Okay, that was all I wanted to show you. See you next time.